Hi folks, July 4th, 2016, US Independence Day and a hot summer day here in Switzerland. This afternoon I'm uh, doing a clean-up job on the fastest PC we have in our family. It's uh, this beauty with uh, Core i5-4430 CPU, a decent NVIDIA graphics card, some 8 gb RAM and uh, Samsung 840 SSD with about 128 uh, gigabyte capacity. Okay, the machine currently really runs uh, with uh, Windows 8 and uh, one of the purpose of uh, this afternoon's work is to do an upgrade to uh, Windows 10. But first, uh, let us uh, see the machine in detail. So it has uh, Windows 8.1 installed, German version, and uh, the system has uh, some nice features as said, uh, like a decent uh, Core i5 uh, CPU with 3 GHz clock rate, some 8 GB RAM, and uh, a nice uh, Samsung SSD 840 and uh, it's really properly configured and uh, runs uh, really nice. Okay, to do the cleanup job I installed uh, a 3 terabyte, 3.5 inch drive uh, into the system to do a full backup of this machine and all the other PCs which I will uh, do the Windows 10 upgrade in the next couple of days. And to uh, tell you the truth, uh, that's quite a, quite a lot of machines. I think about 10 machines uh, need the job to be done. Okay, uh, let's talk about something different and talk about uh, the QL. And uh, I have uh, the distribution on this PC. And inside the distribution there's QLE the QL runtime environment and uh, I want to see how it uh, performs on this nice machine. So I start the uh, QPC2, the virtual QL machine and look how the boot process uh, happens. Okay, step by step. Welcome to QL is 30. 2014 the distribution okay we now see that uh, QLE properly booted including uh, the internet uh, connection to uh, the QLE's 30 dot uh, org uh, website and uh, also showing uh, this nice little graphics okay I want to show you how fast the machine is and uh, I'm picking up uh, Qtop Index, the benchmark suit, and uh, okay, need to do it again. It's uh, K pick. Here we have it, and I will uh, let it test Win One in the storage benchmark. Okay, let's go and we will see uh, how fast the machine is. I, I expect it to be uh, roughly about 1000 times faster than the original QL. Almost done. Okay, storage benchmark and the result uh, we see there is on the top half of the screen it's 1202 times faster than the original QL. Not bad. Okay, before we close the video I want to show you how fast it really is in QL terms. I will call the IDE and start a small uh, SBASIC script called machine load and uh, this script uh, starts an instance of uh, Qtop demos in automatic mode 
with a large window and uh, inside uh, Qtop demos you see the graphics uh, animation and it's so fast that the autofocus of the camera fails and you see it's quite blurry and uh, maybe I give him a, a helping hand to get again the focus back okay <laughs> little trick and you see how fast the machine really is the graphics fly like a rocket no QL would uh, ever be able to run at that speed I think uh, if I remember correctly there are 10 demos and uh, all look nice on their own but this is maybe the the, the most famous one the worm and uh, I press the key F to get the, the frame rate and uh, it's not really frame rate it's a little bit more like uh, the rate of uh, how many objects are really being drawn and the focus is really the problem give it the hand and then again back not even successful that time okay doesn't matter that much that was a short video about our fastest PC in the family and I wish you a nice summer and take care of yourself bye